Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of the Backspace Plays. I am Danny J. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm playing this game called Wildstar. It's a brand new MMO. Uh, yeah, it's by NCSoft, the same people who made Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2. If you follow our podcast um, at thebackspace.ca, you'll know that uh, I've been actually following this game for quite some time. And uh, I'm excited to play it. I, I just rolled this character. Uh, she is level 7. She is a a rogue type um, named Senodara. And if you're on Algorok, you can feel free to message me and uh, we, can, we can team up. Uh, I like female characters just because um, they tend to have better... I just... I like looking at them. Right, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um, it started from uh, World of Warcraft when the angularized uh, uh, male characters were just, just terrible looking. Um, whereas in this game, it's kind of the opposite. So the females are more angularized and the, the males are more um, sort of less uh, rounded. So as you can see, whoever designed these characters has a, a prejudice against um, waistlines. Um, but anyway... Uh, Art style, very familiar with World of Warcraft in a lot of ways. Uh, that has been not so much the complaint, but just the uh, feel of, of the game feels very WoW-like. Now, um, I'm just going to jump right in here and just show you a little bit about uh, uh, how the gameplay works. Um, actually, first thing I'm going to do is going to create a new character, just to show you what uh, what options there are. So. There's two factions. There's the Dominion, which I guess are the bad guys. These guys, they have evil looking characters. And the Exile, which are, you know, the uh, roguish uh, band of uh, humans and other aliens that they've found uh, on the search for a, uh, a new planet. So it all takes place on this planet that they found. Um, but yeah, he's got a, this guy's got a Popeye look to him. He's got too much spinach. Um, <laughs> kind of neat. <laughs> This is a very dopey looking dude. Uh, I'm going to make a Dominion character just because. Look at this guy. He's a little rattling. Uh, a Chua. Right? So, Chua's. Okay, so here's the choices. You have sort of the Dominion humans who have a very hoity toity look. To <laughs> it's ridiculous, kind of. Uh, the Draken, which are like these devil dudes. Female. Chua, which are. Hilarious. I mean, <laughs> why not? Why not play this guy? I'm going to. Just give me a second. Uh, the the Mechari, uh, robotic uh, creatures, female robots. Pretty cool looking. They look like night elves in a way. Just, uh, but I'm gonna go with the Chua. <laughs> uh, okay, so the different class types: warrior, obviously tank, and DPS, engineer, um, inventors. They have pets, their pet class. Espers, they're like uh, healers and spellcasters. Uh, illusionists, so they create little illusion pets that disappear. Um, yeah, not really my play style, so I won't be playing that. The medic, I, I, I tend to like medic. I tend to like support characters. Um, so they heal. They have a They have a big gun. And the spell slinger, so a combination of uh, guns and spells that boost those guns. All right, so I'm gonna make a. I probably this is probably gonna be taken. Oh, I, I also want to customize this a little bit. Uh, first, oh, you pick. You also pick your um, your path. So, I th first I thought this was just sort of a throwaway. Okay, well this is like Guild Wars 2. It has a storyline that. Uh, you know, it, it sort of affects your main storyline. But actually, um, this is like alternate experience, right? So as you do uh, secondary quests that fulfill the path of, of a soldier, you have an alternate power uh, boost that you have. So I've just played the Explorer, so uh, filling the Explorer quests, I'm able to do safe fall. Uh, I can hover in midair. I can find certain treasure. Uh, it's actually kind of neat. Um, I like how they did this. So I want to do something different. I'm going to go with the scientist line. Just because. Um, I haven't done it before. I don't know what to expect. 
Okay, so now the customization. This is actually pretty cool, and if you are crazy about uh, customization, you'll get a kick out of this. So, so we have um, face style. So you can pick your your general uh, face types. So let's go. I don't know. I don't like uh, what the sh the crap in his face. I don't. Let's get rid of that. How do you, how do you get? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's just it's so awesome. <laughs> Oh, look at that guy. Okay, I gotta go with this guy. Look, he looks he he looks pretty funny. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Totally badass. Okay, this dude with the with the um the awesome eyes. You can customize their face now. Uh, this is sort of the rote uh, effects that you get with uh, you know facial customization. Not really. <sighs> Much you can change here, even with the other characters, that the humanoids wasn't wasn't a huge deal. But I want to make this guy kind of like a chubby. What's that gonna do? Turn those up. Height. <laughs> okay. Let's make it more. There we go. Size. <laughs> uh, move. yeah, move a little bit. I suck it. Gotta make him big, right? Big, like, so innocent looking, but he's gonna be sporting some dual handguns. That's the idea. <laughs> okay, there, just there we go. Them fart. Wow, uh, just a just a crazy amount of uh, stuff you can do. Let me just go. I, I I won't spend too much time on this. Okay, good enough. Hairstyle, um, <laughs> the Justin Bieber feathered hair look, if you want. That's kind of cool. The mohawk looks like a gremlin. Uh, that's kind of neat. Okay, I'm digging that. The bun. Okay, I'm kind of digging that. Uh, hairstyle, give him a... <laughs> like, how is he supposed to see? No, okay. No hair. He's a totally innocent looking dude. Eye color. Okay, you can sort of... I don't see a difference here at all. No. Ear style. Bunny ears. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's pretty cute. That's even better. Alright, so I'm going to go with the cute, fuzzy looking, innocent looking... Uh, uh, rat guy. Okay. Ratling is his name. <laughs> Here he is, all customized and stuff. That's probably not gonna be. Let me take it. Yeah. How about two T's? Ratling. Ratling. Oh, that works. Okay, so we're giving us a little introduction video uh, about the history of the Dominion. Why they're so evil. It has ruled the galaxy for almost 2,000 years. Unexpectedly, the fabled Elden homeworld okay, of Nexus of was discovered why by the Renegade Exiles. It's all a hunt for resources. All the other planets have been planet mined to, uh, to extinction. Legacy, the Dominion is gathering its strength pretty much wrote, uh, and preparing uh, for war. Science fiction here. Ready to fulfill their ancient destiny, the Dominion has now made the long journey to Nexus. So... Um, but that is only the people are making a lot of comparisons to this game to World of Warcraft. I think it looks story. more, it feels more like um, the Old Republic, Star Wars, the Old Republic, uh, in a lot of ways. It also feels, in a, in a lot of ways, like Terra, uh, just in the hitbox, which you'll see as the game loads. All right. I have evidence that exiles may have infiltrated our cryosystems, planting their traitorous agents among loyal Dominion citizens. So we're stomping out uh, rebel scum here. So I'm part of the Empire, I guess. Dominion, rather. Yes, ma'am. Scans detect what we believe to be several functioning cryopods. No mechanical anomalies. Which one would... That one. Right there. Oh, uh, oh, yes. that's me. I have an instinctive feeling about that one. And the Makari's instincts are mathematically flawless. 
<laughs> yeah, there's like this. The humor in here is uh, how do you describe? Kind of like, kind of like a uh, well, college-y sort of uh, like yeah, dude. I don't know how to describe it. We, when you level up, for example, they'll say things like "shit, yeah." Yeah, it, it's a little bit on on the nose in terms of the humor, and and and, and some of the tropes. It, it, there's memes that uses a lot of memes. There's my guy. <laughs> yes. This is gonna be good. I detect potential in this one. Um, and the voice acting, yeah, uh, I think it's very good. They got the girl whose who voice is Penny from uh, Inspector Gadget. She's she does a lot of voices here. Um, a lot of familiar voices, in fact. All right. You are. New quest. I'm nothing to hide. What you've done. Uh. Right, so it, it, in 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 the sense that it looks like Star Wars, uh, the Old Republic, the feel, the hit bar, which is not um, you can't see yet because I don't have any powers, um, and in the world itself, it's it's uh, minimalist to describe it, and um, the characters too, they're they they got these angular sort of furriness to them. Um, but all in all, you know, you know, you got your em emotes as well. Dance. I mean, can't be an MMO without dance. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I guess I go in here. There are no... Do I understand? Yes. Excellent. Test commencing. Do you enjoy communication? No. Are you a fan of Artemis Zinn? I don't know who that is. Who is that? No. Okay. Have you made progress? Sure. <laughs> like, who designed these robots to look like have a sexy walk? I mean, why wouldn't you? I guess. All right. What's the next question, there, buddy? Okay. So I uh, decided I would go into a little further into the combat area here with my um, my gunslinger dude. Um, so I just leveled up while I cut some of that uh, grinding part for you guys, but um, so I got a few more spells. So it's uh, mostly damage based, but it also gives me some utility to jump out of the way, which is kind of cool. Um, so I also have a quest here, so clicking on a quest will actually point you in the right direction. Find the blimp site and uh, search for Dead Dominion Demolition Experts. Not a problem. Most of these uh, newbie things, since they're yellow, are not going to be kill on site, which is good because, I, like I said, I'm a newbie. Uh, all right, so now i found the crash site, and here, of course, are some bad guys. I can overcharge my shot, and that pretty much just kills them at one shot, especially these new, these new guys. All right, so and you just kind of go around. You find these little power-ups here. Uh, not power-ups, exactly. They are little quest parts, all right? So let's just try some of these other powers. Bamp. I can light them on fire. <laughs> That's kind of satisfying. Uh, and then you see the little um, areas of effect. So yeah, so that it, it, it's exactly that. This is my cone of fire. And he also has a cone of fire. Bad guys do. So I generally want to bounce out of the way by just double clicking. And that'll do the trick. Okay, so I'm just going to kill this guy because what the heck why not? Overcharge my shot. Boom. All right. What else do I have around here anymore? You guys see anything else? So also holding down shifts. As you can see, my little icon there says that I'm charging. Uh, what that does is it lets me uh, sprint for a few seconds. Not very long, but long enough. Zap. Oh, there's some... There's some more ammunition.
Okay, so that's done. Uh, so I could usually return or just hit the C button here, you and that'll actually let me uh, talk to him over my comm channel. Um, all right, so gives me an option of quest loot, even though I'm far away. Still kind of neat. So I'm going to take uh, the blimp pilot suit because I'm, I'm a glorified uh, caster, essentially. So, And then he gives me more quests. So let me just uh, put that weapon on. Is that a weapon? Nope. See how it looks. Eh, not too bad. Kind of got the hand solo look going. Okay, and then of course there's instant buffs. I can hit X and uh, that'll recharge my health. Okay, so the map gives me a nice overview of where I need to go next. Um, I'm going to go back here. And then just to save you uh, your time, I'm just going to fast forward to turning in that reward. On the inside. Oh, okay. So I just <laughs> I just popped the zit and he came out. Gross. Okay. Uh, what's next? Roasting chua. I'm a chua. So I, I talked about this in the podcast. Um, yeah, it's it's fun. It looks beautiful. Look at it. It looks really good. And this is not even one of the better looking parts of the game. This is a desert sort of a canyon area. Um, some of the, uh, the some of the other uh, areas of the game which I'm going to show you in a bit, uh, they do look just stunningly awesome. But I did notice, and this is the complaint a lot of people have said, is that the, uh, the game has a very, oh, very less is more kind of look to it. So if you look down, if you zoom in, you see how the the grass is kind of all just, you know, your standard, you know, it, it, it's okay. I mean, it looks good. It's, it's definitely next generation MMO, but I thought I had my graphics turned down when I first had this game, but they're, uh, they're all cranked up. That's just the look. And I'm actually okay with it. And if, if you're okay with it, then you probably like it. Uh, some people though, it, it bothers some people Double enough kill. that they just they refuse to play to play it, and that's that's fine. That's the you know you pay your monthly due as much as you want. Um, for me, yeah, I probably will be playing this for a month. I'll get my money's worth uh, in that regard. Y you do have to fill out. You do have to have a credit card or debit card in order to to fill out an account. But I'm not gonna likely renew unless. Unless, you know, it gets better in the mid-game or something, but um, just what I've seen in the early stages, there's just not enough different for me to really to really want me to renew at this point. So I leveled up there. Here's what's next. So you saw I level up. That's good. Uh, okay, so Challenge he's telling me fail. I can pick some pants, which, which is good, you I need some pants. What rewards do I have? Die. Okay, so I can probably pick, uh, purchase new powers. Okay. Let's see, so I hit B on the keyboard, Let's see what I got here. Uh, oh, actually nothing yet. No worries, but it does tell you if you just hit B what uh, what to expect in later la uh, uh, later levels. Healing every ability, every class has the ability to self heal. Uh, now, obviously, the medic can do it better, and can she, not only can that, she can also heal uh, people around her. So, boom! Haha, <laughs> just fun. Fire! Double kill. <laughs> Burn roasting. Not good. No, right. no, no, not oh, good that's all. just that's just mean. Not I can talk good. to him. No, 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 not good at all. Okay. Oh God. A 
achievement granted. <laughs> okay. So, thanks to some uh, strangers, I was able to beat them. No problem. It's familiar because you play pretty much the exact same mission for the other, uh, the rebels, the other team. Um, the exiles, I should say. Exactly the same, right down to the fighting the boss to jumping onto this freighter to get, to get out of here. So now I can get out of here. Do a little cutscene. Oh, this is going to be kind of cool. Let's see if it, uh, <laughs> oh, that's neat. <laughs> that is bad ass. You will launch drones and satellites and you fly away. So cool. Uh oh. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, uh that's a little taste of Wildstar. Uh if you like it, it's uh it's going for fifty nine dollars. That includes um deluxe copy. You get three codes that you can give away to buddies. That gives you seven days of time um, to to play it, to try it. If you want to join your friends, Wrapping convince them to try it. There's no commitment on their part. They just enter the key. They don't have to enter a credit card or anything like that. Um, and so, yeah, I, I would say I'm going to give this uh, a good 30 days of play. And um, I still have my credit card on file, so you know if, if I like it, I'm going to renew. Uh, is it better than World of Warcraft? Mm, no. Uh, World of Warcraft grabbed me in a way that um, if this game, if, if Wildstar was released back when uh, World of Warcraft was, well, yes, okay. But this this is something that's been built on years and years of MMO experience. Like, you've got, t you got a taste of uh, all the best that l the recent MMOs have to offer. Like, there's... Uh, you know, there's uh, group area quests, there's um, PvP rewards, there's um, power-ups, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do on your own, just like Guild Wars 2. Um, but it does a lot of things differently that I like too, so like the alternate um, profession, so you give yourself uh, skills that flesh out, you know, your, your, your uh, main skills, so I can, you know, I can stun lock with this guy, um, with this particular build, which is why I went scientist. So, yeah, I, I do like it. And uh, if you like, you know, a game that has a little bit of everything, yeah, definitely give this one a try. All right. So then I'm Danny J. Uh, listen to us on the Backspace.ca for the latest podcast. And if you like the video, just go ahead and uh, subscribe. And uh, we'd like to hear comments below. Thank you for watching.